yeah, yeah, Moonlight uh, Serenade by Beethoven playing, you know, when you look at the water. Oh, yeah, let, 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 me, let me change the time to... to uh, yeah. Do we got a proper... Yeah, we got a proper... Here we are. And, and we can... What a... People never saw... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> And black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Missoula Zoo. It's not a tourist video today because the game decided to F me. And um, But anyway, we, we got a special guest today. Um, you may introduce yourself, buddy. Hi, I'm Drak. Uh, you might have used my birds. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's a he's an awesome um, creator on the on the workshop. Um, if you don't know him, I will link his workshop to the description and um, yeah, take a look look at yourself. And today, it's a bit of a different uh, episode. Um, in fact, it's not an episode at all um, because um, all I have done the the past um, fourteen days is gone um the safe game is, is broken it's, it's smaller than it, sh uh, it should be it's uh, even smaller than the uh, file you can get from the workshop and by 13 megabytes yeah and um that means uh, it's it can't be repaired and so 14 days of um work are just gone and but so, anyway um yeah. I, I have uh, some some things um, from this uh, progress uh, uh, I have recorded uh, in a sort uh, of making screenshots and um, making some test videos but the video is very short um, I will show it to you at the end so if you want to skip it uh, skip it and uh, now we are talking over the screenshots as soon as I got a nice place to stay. So, um, and I think uh, most of you didn't see the zoo in the winter time. So, um, but the light is not proper, to be honest. It's... I never realized how old your park is. It's like the oldest zoo in the world, 850 seven years old yeah and and uh, I, ha I had 100 uh, more years to be honest um, so um, the Native Americans built that, uh, that part yeah <laughs> so to say um, and we got a little like hey there okay let's let's stay here stand uh, there yeah, in the cold and talk about what happened and what was the plan and yeah <laughs> what will be the plan in the future after the file is yeah. Gone. yeah um first of all i'm i'm very pissed right now uh but i i try not <laughs> why <laughs> why be happy uh, yeah. you thought about thinking positively <laughs> um, there are some aspects you can take positively but uh, not that much um so yeah here we are um uh, uh the first step i made was um yeah removing the the uh, newspaper rock uh, to see where the, the best spot for the for the new complex could be and the complex uh, was supposed to be or was uh, actual an uh, pantana center um, which uh, yeah it was there to complete the the whole South American section and mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, so I, I tried um, different places and uh, started with the roof. Um, for all of you who don't know how to start um, a building properly, start with the roof. Um, <laughs> because that's the most difficult uh, part to to finish a building off. Um, you know what, what I mean? I always, I always do the roof last. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. I hate roofs. I hate. I hate. No, I love architecture. My my whole bookshelf is full of architectural books and book about architecture and zoos. But 
Uh, I'm I'm such a sucky architect. I I'm not good. Yeah, and, and, so and my my advice is um, start with the roof, and build uh, from there. Um, build the walls because it, it's uh, way more harder to to if you have a proper uh, wall um, building to to get the roof aligned uh, we had that with your um what was yeah, it it's my aquarium aquarium yeah it's the roof you built was from the french national library because uh, my park uh, imperial gardens is like 19th century art nouveau really artful style so it's more about the art than the animals in that park and and i built that roof myself and it was horrible it was horrible and i built several days on it and i don't know how you did it but it was art yeah, it's not, it's not, perfect. Not, it, not this one you, you see here. It's, it's uh, another no. one. Maybe maybe I have a screenshot I can put in yeah. here, right now. or or maybe you you will provide me a screenshot of the yeah actual, I can do that yeah, of the actual. It's, um, it's still not not uh, in my actual park, so I will give you the old uh, screenshot, I guess. Yeah. Um, so uh, I started with the roof, and then added the. The walls here we are already in the inside um, and it's all work in progress you see right here and um, but I'm occasionally I'm, I'm checking how the how the sidelines are and um, what I can improve and yeah and here we are uh, at the outside and it, I think yeah, it... this is this is one of the one of the last um, places where it, it was located, um, but it's well. Uh, yeah, uh, Haribo, do you want to um, tell the audience where the reference was from from the outside and how many times you have built the building in your own zoo? Um, the reference is in uh, is in bank building um, in Montana. I don't know uh, where it is located. But I can I can show you a picture um, also here, and um, I was um, yeah I was pretty much inspired by it. And um, the thing with the location was a bit a uh, bit more difficult because um, the paths uh, which are inside are all uh, two or three meter paths, and um, so much work. The thing is, um, you you. Put the the uh, structure down. Then you you try to align all the paths, and then you build the interior around the paths. Uh, th at least that's how I do it. And um, and any change that comes uh, to your mind uh, can have yeah big issues uh, for the rest of the of the building. So um, yeah, the more times you do it, the better you get. And uh, I think if I do it again. <laughs> if I do it again, I should. Um, it will be. Uh, you plan it will doing be, it again, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to do it and again, but uh, maybe not the same layout. Maybe I changed this a bit more. Um, but yeah, and and, and, here we... and, and you have before. I'm sorry to interrupting you. You have no blueprints uh, of what you did, right? Yeah, right. Because um, most of them were um, too big to save and uh, mm -hmm. the one I mean I, I saved some some things I, I always save some blueprints if I'm change uh, if I'm making big changes and I, I don't know if it if it will work out and um, but these are all old versions I can't use anymore so um, yeah because I, I just improved while building it so um, yeah here we see the the big cage for the jaguar on the right um and took three days you told me yeah it took about three days um and also always coming back to it and and uh, make some proper changes and yeah it's um it's a as pity. you can see it's not straight lines so all the custom roofing has to be handmade yeah so um, i would never do something like that <laughs> um, I, ha I, I had a I had a flat version of it but it looked just too heavy 
and I, mm -hmm. I had no idea how how it would be in, in real life, how it could be possible. So I, I decided to, to make a raised one and or an angled one, which is held by, by these pillars. And yeah, and there are about uh, 2,600 individual uh, African ropes and I touched every single one of them. And yeah. To, Sounds to, like fun. Yeah, to align them. Not <laughs> it's it's not a fetish or something. I, I had to align It's them. not a fetish. No, okay. It's not. I thought it's uh, it's not even uh, it's not it's not even fun to do it, but the the outcome is uh, pretty much worth it. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree, I agree. Also I uh, had a little elevator inside the building and um, all the uh, needed mechanism to make it work. Uh, is this the first uh, elevator you built or did you do one in the past? Uh, it's the first in the park. It's not the first I made. Uh, I made I made one for um, the Halizu, but Oh, um, I, I can't remember. It. Where did you put that? Um, I think it's in the... Uh, um, or even no, there's yeah, do, yeah, in the in the parking in the parking house there is an elevator. Okay, I didn't visit your parking house <laughs> because I wanted to go to the zoo. Well, <laughs> damn me, why should I go to the zoo in the zoo game? Yeah, but but that's Silly. the that's the way how how I work. I, I often do things nobody will ever see, and uh, yeah, but no. I but I know that they are there and that they have to be um, good. And yeah, that's why I do these things. And I, we should go back three pictures, right? Yeah. Yeah, this mm. one. Uh, I mean, I, I told you what it is. Maybe, maybe you, you mm -hmm. want to take over. <laughs> well, um, on the outside, uh, you can see a pretty nice um, habitat for the giant anteater and the bird's tapir, which is, by the way, not from Brazil, but. It doesn't stop the Houston Sioux to also have uh, birds tapir instead of the Brazilian tapir because they are more common in American zoos. Here we, we are both European. You can hear it in our accents. We have big German accents and we are Germans. <laughs> so we have the Brazilian tapir, which is the correct species, but not the Americans. So um, uh, maybe, it's Brazilian maybe, tapirs. Sorry, yeah? Jack. Yeah? Uh, go, maybe go on, go you... on. You should um, explain them why you know these things about them. Because... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a zoologist um, by trade, by profession, and I have my share of experience in zoos right now because of the corona thing. I have to work in uh, virtual zoos, which is not that great. But <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? What? Do, yeah. What? Um, are you are you talking zoos about don't hire right now? No, I, I talk about planets in general. Yeah, I know. Zeus don't hire right now. Um, but but when you talk about virtual zoos, you mean planet zoo zoos, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, just yeah. To, to give you guys um, a bit of another sound um, background, I, I will change my location. Yeah, um, keep on talking. I, uh, I will well, I can't pictures. see the picture anymore, but um, I can I... talk about it. It's it's pretty much a typical combo you can see in many zoos, uh, the giant anteater and tapirs. And there were some bird species too. Uh, I guess it was the lake duck and the red-legged seriema. Um, Isa also made some um, South American birds. Uh, they were a reference, but it's not really a reference. That was the first idea. It was Houston Sioux Pantanal, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's um, uh, it's a big inspiration, but when we are we were researching the Houston Zoo, um, it was completely different from the the one I saw from the video. So, um, mm -hmm. in fact, I had no uh, real real uh, reference. I just uh, made it up and um, how I I wanted it to to be. So. Yeah, you can't you can't see that in that picture because we were working on it uh, after that too. Um, you try to combine two biomes. The Pantanal is like a swampy area with dry seasons, so you have 
a try spot and the real lush area, right? Yeah, um, I have a picture of the um, here's the yes, that's beautiful. Um, so this this uh, habitat, this outside habitat for the ant eaters and the tapirs was uh, divided just by um, um, yeah a, a bit of uh, soil, and uh, this um, was basically just to block the view for the. Um, for the guests, maybe maybe I can show you um, an overview of the whole area to make it clear what I mean. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. It's gone. I could... you, you know <laughs> this moment when you... the, yeah, yeah, that could be the name of the whole episode. You know, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. So um, <laughs> <laughs> what you what you see here is. Um, like um i don't know how, how i should call them but um these are basically only here for for blocking the view from from these guests here to to here so you can't you had never a chance to see the other side and mm -hmm. um with this small uh, labyrinth of of um yeah uh, what is it soil Dividers. soil yes soil dividers dividers yeah let's let's call them dividers and um i love this idea and i, I definitely uh, will recreate this one um looking forward to it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well i can't show because i didn't work on that <laughs> yeah i mean i can i mean it's 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 sort of funny to, uh, sort of um it's not really funny, but yeah. Okay, let's let's talk about these jaguars you made for me. Okay, okay. Um, they are jaguar stat uh, statues made out of driftwood, and you approached me, and I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, you pushed me, and <laughs> like one hour later, I sent you the file, and you were happy, so I am happy. Yeah. And I, I still got them, and I will still use them because they just fit perfectly. And um, yeah, but, but I, it was kind of funny. Um, you told me, ah, that's not possible in this size, and it, I can't make it in scale. And I was, I was hey, dude, it's, it's it's just a statue. It don't have to be in scale. I don't want to uh, exchange the real jaguars with these one. Just um, make make some art, drug. Make some art as you usually do, and you did. And um, I'm very thankful for that. Okay, uh, you're welcome. Yeah. And well, I I ch cheated a little bit. You know, there's a jaguar um, statue in game, and I used that as a reference for the size. So, 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 so you aligned uh, basically you aligned uh, all your pieces to that, or what did you? Um, yeah, more like like fifty percent in. I built all the Triftwood pieces inside the Jaguar statue that's in game. And then I was like, eh, I don't need that anymore, deleted it. And I went after my favorite statue, which I also have here in this living room. It's by Rembrandt Bugatti, who is not a Rembrandt. He's from the Bugatti family. He's a, an artist who killed himself in 1918 and he was famous for making really great statues of animals and basically this is a driftwood version of the Rembrandt Bugatti walking panther. Nice. Yeah, here we see them in the full glory. Um... <laughs> silence, silence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what, what should I say? I mean, oh. uh, we, we, we have a rest in peace episode. You're talking about <laughs> suicide. I mean, I mean it, it can't get any worse. It's <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, you yeah, see. <laughs> well, I'm awesome. just staying on topic, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, and the the whole complex uh, I wanted to dedicate to um, Carlos, uh, who is also from Brazil, so it fit um, pretty good. And uh, it was called the Carlos Pantanal Center. 
And um, yeah, and given color, and, and it's awesome. On this on this little rock you see here, um, there was later um, lettering that said um, the or a drug and wiser uh, bird foundation. So um, oh, yeah, many sponsored <laughs> sponsors were were involved in this, and yeah, here we are at the almost finished um, inside of the house. Um, well, they're a guest at least, and you say almost finished. So, what did you change after that? Um, I added some some more trees, and it was uh, way more lush in the background um, because so. this section of the roof didn't um, take any any light away. So I I was able to cover it, and um, also some benches um, were added later, um, but right uh, wrong direction um yeah and i i really like the the idea of having uh, two levels um to be uh, one time to be on the ground level or on the water level of the uh, amazon or or uh, not amazon um of the jungle and um yeah and, um also the free flying birds which are obviously uh, all made by you and uh, wiser wiser and um yeah it just felt right it felt very tropical and and it's a shame yeah. that it's gone Sh shall we talk about some of these birds uh, i made um, um well you can see some silhouettes on the sign you uh, I, I, while I, we I, go back uh, yeah I'm, I'm... I, I made different species of tanagas which are really colorful birds from the Brazilian area, and I also made the screaming piha bird, which is a really boring bird to look at. They look like just some brown, small thing that you can find in any forest, but their sound is really famous. Everyone knows the sound of the screaming piha, even if they don't know the bird. And the funny thing is, if you look the um, speakers in game, there is a screaming piha. In the South American jungle, is it called in the English version? I, I use the German, so I don't know what the speaker is called. It's, it's but pretty much the same, yeah. Yeah. So you don't, you not only have the bird I made for you, you have the right sounds for that. And, and I think that's really neat. Um, but now it's gone. <laughs> um, here you see a more, uh, a more finished version. I just uh, changed the signs at the end and um, yeah, uh, relocated them. But um, in the background, you can see the piranha um, uh, aquarium. And yeah, I noticed in the video you showed me. There's the red piranha, really great, right yeah. next to the caiman. And the video that you will see uh, as well, um, lovely viewer. And <laughs> yeah, and here is the the finished outside, but um, that's all what's left. And it's a shame, it's a shame, but I can't change it anymore. Um, it's all gone. Yeah. So uh, enough of the uh, rest in peace flavor. <laughs> uh, here we are back it's in the snow. winter, and. The spring will come. Oh no! What what was the phrase from Game of Thrones? The spring will come, right? Winter will come. <laughs> no, winter is coming. No, um, uh, for, for for us, um, the spring is uh, is coming, and um, I am looking forward to do this whole stuff again. And um, I'm, I'm afraid we, we spoiled you two weeks before we could show you, uh, but I think it, it will not. <laughs> did we, did we? I, I'm pretty sure your next version will be 10 times better. And I, I hope so, yeah. It will amaze, amaze us all again, like you always do. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm not sure um, what it will be. Maybe maybe I'm, I'm changing the, the whole plan. Um, because uh, for now I, I just need uh, a day or two to get myself together again and um, oh yeah poor me and <laughs> uh, yeah no um, but oh, 
this is um, by the way this is um, a thing I I wanted to, to have for Christmas but I was running very short and I will take this opportunity to um, to make it happen now um, yeah sad, sad um, music. you hear music oh, I should I no should. no 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 I said, yeah you have yeah. to add sad music okay then um, maybe I do maybe not you will hear <laughs> um, yeah but um, I want to thank all of the new um, subscribers and um, for for joining my channel and um, I, um, I also want to thank Rudy and, and Drew to to showcase this zoo it was just awesome and um, I'm looking forward to to uh, to the next episode and I hope you will be there too drug and maybe Carl I'm sure I'm sure and maybe we can and get and maybe we can get Carlos um, to, yeah. to join um, because it's also planned that the, he will uh, make um, an habitat but uh, we will see how this goes performance wise and um, by the way if this uh, zoo breaks ever again um, and I can't use any of my, my safe games um, I will start a new one definitely that's, that's, that's well, fun. you can always work on my th uh, my, my zoo. <laughs> yeah. It needs work, and I'm too lazy most of the time. So you're welcome. <laughs> Destroy my two, my zoo too. Yeah, I, I tried, I tried, um, and uh, maybe it will work out in the future. <laughs> my evil plan to destroy it. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you soon. Um, I won't say when it is because I won't, uh, don't want to have this pressure. And um, so, yeah, but I hope it will be soon. So, uh, say bye, Drag. <laughs> bye. Bye, everybody. Oh, man.